Back, back, dad. He's never, never gonna, gonna leave you. Love you. you. <laughs> Okay, no, 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 no. Uh, you could, but all you've were, done is elevate the beauty of the teens. I'm just saying he could stop. He could stop a situation that ooh. that some people might be in as they're getting close to thirty. Is okay, all I'm Nick, saying. Nick is Nick knows that I love to give advice, whether it is founded or not, it's or true. whether it is even solicited or not. I'll okay. give unsolicited advice to strangers or passersby. Hey, tie your shoe. That's good advice. Okay, here's the thing: in your fifties. If if they if if the way that the zeros and teens and twenties have gone, if 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 they don't change in the fifties, you know you're kind of you're kind of alone. Um, <laughs> best case scenario, you're divorced because that means at least at once you loved. Um, <laughs> so I really think the thirties are your prime, and if the thirties go well. Your 50s are fine, but you have the 30s to thank for just the climax of your life when it does didn't you come absolutely like, come together. Didn't you just take a trip to, like, Japan? Yeah, it was awesome in my 20s, and I found myself there thinking, like, this better not be it. <laughs> <laughs> You're just waiting to, to peak. You were thinking, I should maybe I should just eat some of that, that blowfish thing sushi that could kill you because this might be it here's the thing as time has gone on i've just found that we are more liable for the choices we make and so if in the 30s i am increasingly liable for choices i've made then it's gonna be rough so out of desperation the 30s is what you are most excited for and you're trying to inspire me it's kind of like if you speak things into existence they will come true so in this moment i'm speaking into existence the beauty of the 30s if you build it you will come. If you build it, they will come. I am building in this moment the beauty of the 30s, and I, such it shall materialize. Hmm. I, um, I, yeah, and I'm like here for you. This is what I have to say. Can I? I can I yeah. just say? Can I say something? I've heard nothing good about the 50s. Well, okay, here, pop here. belly. Coming from your Dime elder, bar, which who's is actually a, kind of where I'm at now. But <laughs> coming from your elder, who's 29, about to hit 30. Wow. Okay. Ian, let me tell you, I've started to have some little hairs growing out of the top of my ears. I see. Can you see them? Microscopic, but but visible. But visible. They're getting longer. I look like like a little fennec fox. I feel like that's a thing. Like <laughs> I, like a tarot card reader can like pluck your hairs and tell your future from your ear. I'm just saying. I think all of thirty is going to be full of these weird moments of like, ooh, that hurts and it shouldn't. Oh, there's some oh, hair I didn't I recognize before. That. Please don't say these oh, things. There, like there's a sphincter that's a little looser than it used to be. Sure, <laughs> yeah. Sphincter. But and by my shoulder sphincter. Yeah, exactly. And then by fifty, you'll just have it figured out. Every sphincter. You know, fifties is just resigning. Thirties is thinking like that. That is my dream is to just give up. (laughs) I want to go to work in the same shirt I wore on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In your thirties, you can still hope in technology that will prevent the fifties that you just described from happening. I'm hoping I don't make it to fifty and I could download my brain. So it seems to me that the thirties are a time to hope for, and the fifties are a time. To kind of give up and accept. let yourself like accept. Ugh, I can't accept. I can't accept. I can't. Well, you need. We to... shouldn't accept it. We shouldn't accept it. We should excel. But the twenties, no one cares about. Give huh? me a pine casket and shove me overboard. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Sea? This is a legally binding <laughs> will. If you say you want to be buried at sea, uh, might as well. I'm an. Actuary. I haven't thought otherwise. I am a registered actuary. Yeah, That's I like mean, the worst way to go. I haven't what thought does an actuary of... do actually. I think they decide how you're buried. No, actuary? That can't be that. It's a math. It's got to do with math. Is it? Mm-hmm. I was thinking, what's the person that you can sign? Notary. That's a notary. Are you a notary? Uh, take that as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That burp. Um, All right. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign the deal. Wait, I have a statistic. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, we haven't done this yeah, yet. Yeah. What's your stat? My stat is that um, 100%... Of 34-year-olds say, it's never been so good, and it'll never be better. Look at all my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they all say that at some point. Yeah, every, every absolutely. Every hurt human in English? God speaks all languages. Are you saying, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this adds up. All right, here's my stat. Uh, Most uh, 50-year-olds I know have a lake house, or at least a friend that does. <laughs> yeah. All anyway, right. uh, that's your stat. Great. 
<laughs> you got a stat? That was my stat. Most that, most fifty year olds I know have a lake house or know someone that has one. Terrible stat, Nick. You didn't even put a number to it. Most. most. Oh yeah, well, most twenty year olds I know, literally a hundred percent of the twenty year olds in this room in the world would pay money that they don't have to go to a lake house. So That's, we don't need friends. Amen. Hey, trust me, I got the money. <laughs> uh, listen. This, I'm just hoping in my 30s I learn how to budget. Keep going. <laughs> this was the most one-sided debate we've had on the podcast. The most one-sided debate we've had. I would say easily Nick wins. <laughs> if you don't agree. Easily? Easily. He, from the get-go. He pay, I'm at heart a Tommy Bahama advice-given boy. At heart, I'm a flip-flop to work wearing biker. You know? But I'm I, upset. I know some... Um, some personal life coaches yeah, you <laughs> that we could someone. reference you to. <laughs> no, I'm doing great. I'm fine. I was just describing other people I know. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That yeah. makes sense. I it's, believe you. Hence the tears. You're just thinking about them and their situation. Yeah. Hey, Anna, you know, I I would give you the victory. <sighs> give me the pity points. Can I have a pity point? Just one. I'll give you a pity point. Okay. I'll, I'll and you can redeem point. that later Ding. for a debate that you don't win. Okay. You can say, actually, I won because of the pity point. Oh, okay. please remember that. Okay. That's okay. a fun rule. Okay. All right. Done. Put it in my you back pocket. You get a pity point. And Hope I wear these pants next time. <laughs> you don't wash your pants enough that you would, whatever, neither do I. I freeze them. That's, I believe Because you have raw denim. That doesn't it's surprise not raw. me. It's not raw. You just freeze, you freeze your gap jeans. I do. These are, these are from Levi's. I freeze them because washing them stretches them out ultimately. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. I thought washing them makes them tighter. Well, it makes them tighter. Drying them, but it, the, it but loosens that, the fabric, so it, it, it wears gonna, it down. It, yeah, exactly. Ugh. Anyways. It fatig- All right. fatigues them. Why what are you did we learn? Uh, I'm because I don't want to crunch now. on the microphone. I'm learning now that <laughs> Nick, in lieu of crunching chips, licking licks them. them until they disintegrate. And it's disturbing and horrible to watch. All okay. right. What'd you learn? I learned that um, paid firefighters think they're better than the volunteer firefighters. Other way around. Other way around. I learned that <laughs> volunteer firefighters think they're better than the paid firefighters. That's true. Absolutely. They are better, mm-hmm. frankly. The yeah. people are they're doing it out of the goodness of their heart and the hate bastards. for the flames. Yeah. The hatred for the flame trids. Uh, I learned that even though it's called salad, chicken salad's like not good for you because it's full of mayonnaise. You're okay. going to do great in your 30s if you learned it now. Because <laughs> I've been thinking, like, oh, gee, I'm eating a salad. I I'm potato a... salad. Macaroni it's all salad. mayonnaise. It's all mayonnaise. Tuna salad. These things are not healthy and everyone knows that. What? <laughs> <laughs> They're called salads. And, uh, Gosh, I don't feel... Do- that's not my fault. That's you... a nominal semantic issue. Okay, and this is a great way to for us to introduce... We're starting a GoFundMe for Anna instead of a Patreon. Um, So if you want to support to the cause of uh, Anna going to the doctor for the first time in 16 years (laughs) (laughs) and learning about her body, (laughs) uh, we're re-enrolling her in sixth grade health class. So uh, (laughs) submit to Anna needs a job and some money. (laughs) And we'll use some of it to make a potato salad. I need a sponsor. Yeah, you need like a life sponsor. If there's a 50-year-old or 30-year-old person out there who would sponsor me and just getting a little better, I would just really appreciate it. It's like Anna would benefit greatly from... From like Alcoholics Anonymous, if it had nothing to do with like any addiction, it's just like just trying to. We all just like figured m- out, come together, and are just like let's let's yeah. You just pat me on the back. All right, yeah, fantastic. Goodbye. Bye. Good luck out there. Pray for me. <laughs> Masters of Debate is performed and created by Anna, Nick, and Ian. Our handle on Instagram is at Masters of Debate, and you could email us at Masters of Debate Podcast at gmail.com. Our logo is created by Kevin Kobos, and our theme song was made by our good friend Colin Fox. And every week, these are edited by Ian Brown. Thanks for tuning in.